Okay, another tool is loft. Loft is for creating the 3D from the closed or open objects. For example, I have a circle here. Then I have a flower in the middle. Bigger. Then another end gone here any object that you want you can in the end side click and make it rounding a little and you can simply click love it it's not important uh, the axis of the loft and the object just click and direct the object that you want uh, to be loft and simply click and drag and make a child of the loft as you can see the loft create 3d objects from that objects just important thing about the loft is order of that you can turn the loft the first two three make sure that the order of the object is uh, as you can see is here one two three Be sure that they are one after other. Okay. Going to the sitting of the loft. The uh, main tab is object. And if you want to more quality and accurate object, you have to increase the mesh subdivision U and the mesh subdivision V. And as you can see, our model will be up here. here. You can go in and changing the flower position, flower, flower, for example, rotation, flower, scale, and you can do anything that you want. <laughs> changing inside, circle, and you can simply go in, if you want, make them editable. And for example, going to the point mode in the circle and uh, selecting a point and change the point as you can see this is loft tool <clears throat> okay and isoparm if you want to see them going to uh, display and tick the isoparms they're, they're line that the up through the object making from them going back to wireframe as you can see we have an organic form if you tick that the model will be more smoother for example I click them as you can see when you click the organic form uh, for example in this <coughs> in this point this uh, the the comment try to uh, doing the object in the best way but not exactly go, uh, going across that line. It's try to make the organic form for you. If you untick that, as you can see, it try to cross exactly at that point of the uh, object between them. You can simply make the U direction more. Subdivision U. As you can see or and you can uh, go to the intermediate point and subdivide it then okay so this is organic form if you if you want this uh, comment go exactly at the shape of the objects deactivate that or if you want to uh, organic form better form turn it on and the software uh, a little mean miss a little miss the point for you it does not correct uh, cross exactly at that point and the subdivision per segment it is activate it is active by default it calculates the two objects between and make a subdivision between them if you untick that we have uh less subdivision if you tick that we have more because it calculate between object and 
this subdivision will be at between two objects. If you untick that, this numbers uh, calculate for all, for whole object. Make sure you activate that. The loop, if you tick the loop, as you can see, uh, the object loop, for example, from here and back to the beginning of the loft. You can loop it, as you can see. Make an object like this. And a linear interpolation, as you can see, this is a subdivision interpolation and a smooth. If you want, you can tick linear interpolation. And as you can see, it's linear. Make linear. And the important thing is adopted UV. I give a texture to it, checkerboard texture on a loft. As you can see, when we, for example, move the flower, it's everything right, as you can see. The texture is stick on the object and don't move, and we can move the object. But if you untick the adoptive UV, as you can see, for example, changing the position of the flower, it's occurred here. As you can see, it's a stretch and a squash the, the UVs. In some situation, you like this, or if you want to the texture and UV stick on their position, you can tick the adopt UV and then changing something here. Okay, another tab is caps, the, all of its settings, for, for example, rounding caps. You can simply get a rounding cap here. I will uh, I explain them in a text lesson. Please refer to the text and I explain the caps in detail there. Also the selection for making texture for cap, rounding and the body of the model. Another important point about loft, it's also order of the object and when you click and drag and select them and make them editable, going to the point mode, it is important thing about the loft is uh, beginning and ending the spline. These three spline are the same beginning, the beginning from the here, the white, and going to the uh, light blue. Beginning from here and go beginning from here. So as you can see, these three spline uh, are in the same direction of the beginning. Okay, going to the, this direction, I, I, I like draw another spline myself with the spline pen i explain this spline and purposes and refer to them please for example as you can see the beginning of the for example this spline is begin from here beginning from here then to here i draw uh, in opposite of that direction draw from here as you can see, the beginning of the object comes here. There is something not important. And close that. And you can see it's different. Okay. Okay, that's... I think I... Oh, oh sorry. I mixed the drawing tool with the flower select oh sorry for mm, correcting this issue uh, pay attention do not select anything then uh, draw something going to the select and select connected and delete that make sure you deselect everything deselect everything and select Another spline here, and of course, create new spline. Mm, beginning from here and the end here. A new spline will create. I will be bringing it to the end of the list, and in the viewport, go into the model mode and move, and move it to the bottom of the list, and turn the loft on. As you can see. 
everything goes wrong. This is first. Oh, as you can see, another mistake will be happen. In this order, everything is right, but in the viewport, it's co not correct. The first object is this, loft going to the that object, then that object, then return to this object. You make sure you are correcting in viewport uh, also. You have to color, you have to um, put the object in a in a nice in a correct order order uh, uh, in the object manager and also in the viewport and then turn left on as you can see we have the model and this is our issue if the direction of the spline are reversed so for correcting that issue if you select all of this and go into the point mode as you can see in this we are beginning from here but the last model beginning from here okay select that spline i want to teach a little lesson here to changing the order of the beginning and ending of the spline right click going to the if you are in a point mode in a point order reverse sequence Okay, we reverse the sequence and make it true. As you can see, but here is the beginning and here is the beginning. Okay, simply you can just rotate it. We just reverse that. Um, no, no, rotate, no. Going here, right click. You can click on this dot to open the window and move down the sequence. It's rotated. Mm, no, 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 move up move up i think that's right here look at this select all of the uh, spline together to uh, look at the point mode in the same as you can see the beginning of the all spline it's correct here look at the light blue here and the white i think it is correct and when you activate the loft nice everything is correct now so you now understand the benefit of reversing the uh, spline in a previous lesson as you saw we have uh, something reversed here that it is its benefit here so you learn in a, in a little comment here when you are in a select a spline point right click and order uh, in order points you can reverse or move down up sequence instead of rotating that sometimes you do that but the rotation of the model is not correct that you can rotate it because you can simply rotate it for example going to the model mode and simply you want to rotate and make another object like this okay as you can see you can rotate it and do it Okay, this is Loft and all its settings and tips and tricks. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.